Hello everyone, you are welcome to another amazing tutorial by Webtech Guide and in this video I am going to show you how to create a beautiful landing page with WordPress. Now these are some of the samples that you will be able to create after this video. You can create different type of pages, landing pages um, like the current tile service, the beauty niche and any kind of landing page that you are going to be creating. In this video there are going to be 10 templates that we will be working with but i will choose one of them and i will share a link that you can download this template you know this wouldn't take much of your time within 10 minutes you are done yeah and i am going to show you how to customize your template too how to customize your landing page add um how to add the text the colors um pictures and anything now visit this website you will find the link in my description below you can download the templates there are up to 10 of them on this website for free you don't need to pay anything for it the next step is to buy a hosting package now for the hosting i personally use namecheap because of different reasons they have good customer support they are perfect for startups they have um good server and their websites are fast so if you have a namecheap account or you don't have an hosting just go to namecheap you find the link in my description and click on hosting then share the hosting you will see some plans there you see the stellar plan the stellar plus and the stellar business you can choose any of them but mm, for me i am going to choose the stellar plan so click on get started you will be directed to this page and the next step is to buy a domain name and you click on search for domains so let us search for anyone you can choose anyone okay landing page sample for me i am going with the dot com domain um okay it is not available the dot com domain is not available so let us choose another thing web tech guide sample let us check that out So this one is available webtechguidesample.com and connected to hosting. So you can see right here, um, you can see the shared stellar and the domain name. These are what we are going to be purchasing and the total is $33.94. Click on add to cart. After clicking on add to cart, you will be directed to a page where you can check out, um, you can view some things that you bought like your domain registration. Just click on confirm order. And if you don't have an account, you'll be asked to create an account. But if you have an account already, just log in. And uh, for me, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in my account here um, sign in so you will be directed to this page where you can add your payments method you can make payments either through your credit card or your paypal or you can recharge on your account so after adding your details click on continue that continue button and after you click on it you'll be directed to your wordpress dashboard um, for me i already made a payment so and i'm not purchasing anything but you will be directed to this um dashboard right here as you can see this is what we call um the dashboard you can see um your domain list your hosting list your private email anything you can manage your whole website with this dashboard and to manage your website click on hosting list and to manage your wordpress website or to install wordpress click on this hosting list right here and go to cpanel so this is where this is the control center i call it the control center of your website where you can manage anything anything on your website um either your wordpress installation your email anything actually and the next step is to install WordPress on your website. Just scroll down and locate 
um, WordPress. We are going to install WordPress through the software Cloud Apps Installer. So just click on WordPress right here. This is where you can install the WordPress. Just click on install now. And the next step is to choose the domain name that you want to install the WordPress on. For me, I'm just going to choose this and your site name. Um, let me just write um, anything landing page and your site description input anything you want to input there then your admin username and your password for the name let me just write anything there maybe web tech guide and for the password make sure you choose a very strong password that exit 80 percent and your admin email you can change it data or you can input your real email here and the plugins we won't be needing them for now we can install it manually later and click on install so wait for some few seconds um this should install in any moment from now all right congratulations the software was installed now we are going to check out our website click on this link um this link right here so this is your website as you can see it is empty um there's nothing on your website and we are going to add content to it you can't see anything it is just blank so we are going to add the content um let us check our dashboard put slash wp admin to access your dashboard and input your username and your password here yeah, and we just log in this is your dashboard where you can manage your whole wordpress website you can you can add um, new theme new plugins change the appearance of a website and anything so the next step now is that we are going to install a new theme to your website to install this new theme, go to your appearance right here and click on themes and click on add new. You will see a list of many things, I mean a lot of things that you can use um, 2021, a lot of things but we are going to use this, click on install. You can use any theme actually but we are going to use the Hello Elementor theme. Click on install and click on activate. So this theme is basically um, a very lightweight theme and it doesn't cause your website to become slow. Rather your website to be faster. The next thing to do now is that we are going to install the plugin called Elementor. You can see that it is a mandatory plugin to use. Just click on the install elementor and wait for some few seconds and click on activate plugin. So the plugin has been installed and we don't need to set up this for now. You can do that later. Just skip that or you can click this button right here and close it. The next thing to do now is to add a new page. Go to pages and Okay, go to pages and click on add new. So add the title to our page. Um, let us write um, landing page. Landing page, okay. And click on publish. Click on publish here, yeah, okay. So the next thing is to edit with it. Elementor. Click on edit with Elementor and this might take some few seconds. So this is our page and you can see that there's something that we don't really need on the page like this header right here, the landing page header and the footer. We don't need them for now. So we are going to change the layout. Go to settings and go to the page layout and change it to Elementor canvas. Alright, as you can see they are all gone and we have a blank page. So the next thing is to import the template. Click on this icon, add template.
you can see some templates that you can import but um i'm not going to make use of this if you search for landing page you can see some template there but let us just go with a custom template that i shared the link earlier but there are some there are, i mean there are hundreds of templates but most of them are for premium elemental plugin so if you have a premium it can be helpful for you you can need it so go to my templates and go to click on this icon import templates and select your file from your computer select file and this is our templates firstly we are going to unzip it oh okay extract so after extracting it you can check i mean there are 10 templates so you can use any one of them for me i'm just going to choose this okay um one of these let me just check 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 okay let me choose this enable and imports wait for some few seconds for this to load and you can see that it has been installed so click on insert and click on apply wait for some few seconds all right so this is our website our landing page is live and the next step is that we are going to edit the text the pictures as you can see it looks really great on the desktop see it looks great it looks great but as um some of the pictures are not loading yet so we are going to give it some few times some few time actually and you can see at the top here that it is still loading so give it some few times to load it happens for all websites actually um you have to give it some time to load all the pictures all the settings of the page and you have to be patient with this because you will need a lot of patience when you are doing this don't be in a hurry just patiently wait and watch your website go live so um you can see that the website is fully loaded um scroll down so so some missing images before have been uploaded on the website and click on updates The next step is that I am going to teach you how to edit some of these like the text, the pictures, the editing. Um, for example, you can edit this right here, this Canon FX 800D, you can change it to your preferred text, you can edit it, it is quite easy to use and that is why I recommend Elementor and this also this description right here, you can change this text bar and you can change this button to you can choose to move it you can right click and delete it or do anything you want with it you can also move it by clicking here and dragging it to any page you want on uh, sorry to any layout or any section you want on the website and let us scroll down and you can change this background image and as you can see this picture is actually a background this camera right here so you can change it to anything you want so you don't need to have knowledge of advanced coding skills like that to edit your website you can change the text just click on any element you want to change like this you can upload your own custom text in a png form you can change this also um this camera right here this picture you can change it and you can just play around with it you can play around with um the element of this website your text your links your buttons your background anything you want so just click on it and it is very easy to use actually can do some of these are not visible why because they are hidden for desktop views so once you change this to the um template mode you can see that some are already visible and this website is responsive just take a look at the mobile view it is 100 percent responsive you can change anything you want on it just play around with it and let us um publish our website click on updates 
and don't forget that anytime you change um some things there you, you should make sure you update it before closing the page don't forget about that and let us go back to our dashboard just to check what we have done so far if it reflects on our web website so um, let us view the website click on view sites right here um, okay view okay let us click on it view sites but you can see right here that the website or i mean the page that we created is not visible so this is a simple setting just go to your settings um, your dashboard and go to your settings scroll down you can find the settings right here and click on reading so your home page displays click on the static page a static page not just the latest post a static page and choose the page that we created and save the changes now let us check back our website click on the view site and you can see that our website is live so don't forget that um, we can see everything that was imported this thing is absolutely for free we don't need to pay any dime for it it is 100 percent free all the plugins that we are using it is free the team is free now you can see how it looks on your mobile phone this is how you are going to get it on your mobile phone you can see the responsiveness of the website so if this video has helped you do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and i will so much appreciate if you like this video and you leave a very good comment on this channel because this is a new channel and i need um people to engage my videos more so thank you so much for watching this video and i really appreciate you